Why do American attack helicopters look like flying tanks? While European gunships look like predators on a diet, put an AH-64 Apache next to a Eurocopter Tiger, and the contrast is immediate. The Apache is tall, broad, and heavily built. The Tiger is narrow, compact, and streamlined. That difference isn't aesthetic. It's the result of very different assumptions about how helicopters survive in war. American attack helicopters were designed around worst-case battlefields. Long distances, sparse spacing, dense air defenses, heavy machine guns, man pads, and sustained exposure to enemy fire. To survive in that environment, U.S. designers prioritized protection, redundancy, and endurance. The Apache reflects that philosophy. It carries extensive armor around the crew and vital systems. Its hydraulics, flight controls, and electronics are heavily redundant. Large internal fuel capacity supports long-range operations far from friendly bases, and it carries a heavy weapons load, up to 16 Hellfires, rockets, and a 30-millimeter chain gun, designed to deliver sustained firepower over time. The result is a helicopter that looks and operates like a flying armored vehicle. European attack helicopters emerged from a different operational reality. Conflicts closer to home, shorter distances, denser airspace. Survival is less about absorbing hits and more about not being targeted in the first place. The Tiger embodies that approach. A slimmer fuselage reduces visual and radar signature. Less armor is offset by agility, speed, and advanced defensive aids. Fuel loads are optimized for shorter missions, keeping weight down and maneuverability high. Weapon configurations are flexible, escort, reconnaissance, anti-tank, rather than focused on maximum payload. The Apache is built to absorb punishment and keep fighting deep inside hostile territory. The Tiger is built to move fast, strike cleanly, and disappear before the enemy can react.